my god. Oh my god guys, welcome to today's video in which we're going to be learning how to factor expressions with negative coefficients. So we're going to be tackling um, the greatest common factor and the method in which we can um, use the greatest common factor by using the common division. And we're actually going to use that to our advantage in expressing um, a factor or a common factor for a trinomial in this case. So let's begin. So guys, we have to remember some basic steps when factoring um, or getting the greatest common factor of, a, uh, of an algebraic expression. So when factoring an algebraic expression, the first thing we have to do is identify if we have a greatest common factor. If we factor a negative, then the sign of all the terms in the original expression are changed to their opposite, so they are reversed, right? And this usually is very helpful whenever we have all the terms are negative or most of the terms are negative, right? So the first option we're going to be, I'm going to be showing you guys today is how to divide each term by the greatest common factor and how we can express the GCF or the greatest common factor that way by dividing. And the other way is by um, expressing it as a multiplication and then taking it out. Okay, so let's get to it. So these are going to be the two exercises that we are going to be doing today. Feel free to pause the video and try doing them on your own if you want to. So in the first problem, we're going to see that we have minus 20, minus 40, minus 10. So they are all negative. So we're going to have a negative common factor, right? So we have 20, 40, and 10, right? So we're going to get the greatest common factor. So we can divide them all by 2. So 20 divided by 2 is 10. 40 divided by 2 is 20. And 10 divided by 2 is 5. And now we can divide them all by 5. So 10 divided by 5 is 2. 20 divided by 5 is 4. And 5 divided by 5 is 1. So there is now no number that actually divides them all. So we have 2 multiplied by 5 is 10. So our greatest common factor is going to be 10. Now let's um, take that into account. If our greatest common factor is 10, what we can do is that we can express, um, we can with the option 1, we can actually write down 10 multiplied by minus 20t divided by 10 minus 40j divided by 10 and minus 10 divided by 10 right and that is actually pretty smart however it is actually smarter if we see that it is not just 10 but it's also minus 10 because all the terms of the trinomial are negative so if we put if we factor negative 10 we actually have to divide also by negative 10 right so negative 10 and then we have minus 20 divided by negative 10 is 2 t minus 40 divided by minus 10 is plus 4 and then j and minus 10 divided by 10 is plus 1. so now guys we see that we have minus 10 multiplied by 2t plus 4j plus 1 instead of having every single negative inside the parentheses which is not very appealing right and then the second option is actually expressing them as a multiplication so i know that minus 20t is the same as minus 10 multiplied by 2t minus 40j is the same as minus 10 multiplied by 4j and minus 10 is the same as minus 10 multiplied by 1 and i just take out the common factor so minus 10 and i'm left with 2t 4j and 1 right and that is pretty much it guys so again there's two ways in which i can actually factor these expressions and it's actually very beneficial if i take out the negative okay so now let's tackle the other one so in this one, we have minus 5x minus 25y 
plus 50. So in this case, what I can do is that, first of all, um, I see that the greatest common factor is 5. So because we have 5, 25, and 50, and I divide them all by 5, and I get 5 divided by 5, 1, 25 divided by 5, 5. 50 divided by 5 is 10, and there is, since one of them reaches 1, there is no number that I can use to divide them. So the only common factor is going to be 5, right? Now, with the greatest common factor being 5, what I can actually do is that I can see that, hmm, I have two out of the three terms with a, with a negative, so I can either use a positive 5 or a negative 5. But since we are studying expressions with negative coefficients, we are going to factor minus 5. So minus 5, and then we have minus 5x divided by minus 5, minus 25y divided by minus 5, and plus 50 divided by minus 5. So in this case, remember, since we're factoring with a negative, all the terms of the original expression are going to change the sign. So the first one was negative, the second one was negative, and the third one was positive. So now it's going to be positive, positive, negative. Why? Because we're going to see that it's negative 5 divided by negative 5 is plus 1x. Minus 25 divided by minus 5 is plus 5y. And then plus 50 divided by minus 5 is going to be minus 10. Okay? And that is a single way in which we can do it. Remember that we can actually express this also as x plus 5y minus 10. Because that 1x is the same thing as x. Okay? The other way in which we can do this is expressing it as a multiplication of minus 5s. So minus 5 multiplied by 1x, minus 5 multiplied by 5y, and minus 5 multiplied by minus 10 is actually plus 50. So I just take out the common factor, minus 5, 1x, plus 5y, minus 10. And that is pretty much it, guys. So in this video, we saw how to divide each term by the greatest common factor or expressing as a multiplication. And we can actually factor a negative coefficient um, whenever we have most or all the terms with a negative sign. We can still use the positive, but it's not as efficient. Okay, guys, so see you guys in the next one. Feel free to rewatch the video and practice every day. Bye, guys. Check out these other videos to improve your math skills and make sure you click that subscribe button to make the community grow. Follow Omath God in its social media accounts, drop a like, a comment below, and see you on the next one. Bye!